Hi, I'm Rashid. I'm Nur Islam. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Nice to have you here, guys. So uh, the, the the stream is yours. Okay, can we can you see our oh, great. Okay, so let us uh, uh, discuss how we created an application. Uh, we call it Time Clock. It's a practical application, uh, practical application of the computer vision technologies for employees time tracking. So we wanted to discuss uh, uh, what thing we managed to do, what problems did we face, and what other concerns to, uh, do we have yet for now. Uh, so what was the, the goal of the whole project? Uh, first of all, it was the uh, accurate time tracking. So we want to be sure that everyone comes on time. The second uh, thing uh, was to avoid body punching. Uh, the thing with the uh, classical RFID card is that you can just like give it to your friend and uh, he or she will just use it uh, for checking in and uh, make HR think that he came on time. Uh, right now we use this project for our own company. Uh, we use it to control geographically dispersed locations in different cities when it is much easier to get the report than to see what is happening there. And uh, uh, Lastly, but not right, least, uh, we automate time wrappers. Uh, basically, our target auditory uh, for this project is um, um, companies that have uh, non-qualified employees, uh, such as, um, say, uh, sales associates, uh, waiters, and bank clerks, uh, who, whose um, job is not tolerant for being late. Uh, from our point of view, from our experience, it's not the best solution for entrance control system, as long as it has not 100% accuracy and it takes some time for recognition. Uh, and uh, of course, we need to mention that uh, even for our current case, it controls only checks in and checks outs without controls of authorized leave. So there's like all the chance that employee comes on time and then they just like leave an office without notifying anyone. And of course, we cannot control it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Ruslan, please. Okay, what about work principles? And firstly, we have uh, six steps how our uh, application works. Is the first step is phase detection. Uh, as a tool for phase detection, we considered uh, two libraries. Is the first one is the Open CV, and second one is a Google Mail Kit, ML Kit. Uh, and we settled on the choice number two because of this. Uh, it's firstly slow entry threshold. And second one is because it's most it's much simpler than OpenCV because when OpenCV we need to learn it how it does work and then other things. And I want to consider that uh, before phase detection we had <laughs> we uh, hadn't got a phase detection, and that's why it's uh, caused many problem. Is uh, this problem is like uh, such uh, when first problem is uh, photographing without a face in the photo or several phases of the photo. And it could lead to cheating or misunderstanding of HR. And sometimes the employer could even press the photo button accidentally. And uh, this situation, if the face detection uh, doesn't uh, detect uh, anyone, it only, or, and it detects only one face, uh, it uh, shows the press uh, photo button. And after that, uh, employees could uh, press this button. And second problem uh, is uh, more technical. Uh, for example, uh, most part of the photo, it's just background. And the uh, valuable part of photo is a face. And uh, this face appro approximately 50%, just only 50%. And uh, other part of the photo is just background, how I said before. And uh, that's why we cut only desired part of the photo with face detection and uh, compress it. And the result and the final picture uh, is the face of uh, the weighs about uh, 100 or 115 kilobytes. Uh, also, uh, the face detection uh, helps to force an employee uh, to come to required distance to the camera in order to uh, take high quality photo. Uh, it was related with face detection. And uh, let's look about uh, live detection. Okay, about live detection, surely uh, one camera on the budgetary uh, tablet is not enough for making high quality live detection. And um, 
And that's why uh, we try to use uh, some tricks for this. Uh, in uh, Google ML uh, Kit libraries, have uh, one interesting class as Firebase Vision Face. And uh, uh, we read these indicators from uh, Firebase uh, vision phase every millisecond or several times of per second, per millisecond, and uh, consider the time between the changes as values and try to uh, understand is this photo a real, a real person on the camera or is it just a static photo. Uh, and uh, of course, it uh, don't work, for example, uh, on bank we don't uh, consider our application as a bank, uh, for bank security system, and that's why it's most of case, it's enough. Uh, okay, what about uh, face matching? Face matching, in the beginning, we consider uh, a long time uh, search appropriate tool for this, and we considered uh, uh, OpenCV, and uh, we uh, settled on the Azure Cognitive Service, Azure Cognitive Service. Uh, why Azure Cognitive Service? Yes, uh, because uh, firstly, how I said before, it's more simpler, good, well documented, and uh, user friendly, programmer friendly API uh, for this. And the wall what need, a wall needed is just uh, get photo from uh, face detection, uh, compress it, and send it uh, and send to uh, Azure Cognitive Service. After that. Uh, Azure Cognitive Service uh, responds us uh, with uh, in presentation with probability uh, with, pre with uh, pre percentage the employer is similarity or not. If the uh, is for example percentage is higher than uh, sixty uh, percent, we think it's yes, it's a real uh, employer, and um, we confirm this photo uh, about audit. Ah, about confirmation. Okay, confirmation uh, uh, after how the application got a response from Asia, and if the current response recognized him, uh, the application is asking the employees uh, in confirmation of the cor correctness. Um, and uh, at this moment, if the employees asks, okay, we save uh, this photo in local storage, because why we save uh, it on local storage? Because uh, Asia, uh, couldn't work without internet connection, yes, it's a voice, because uh, it's service which is located on the cloud. And uh, we save in the local storage, and uh, when internet connection is appear, we uh, send uh, this photo to the cloud, to the Azure system. Yes, and uh, after that, uh, how uh, the employee confirm himself, uh, HR, after that, uh, could uh, recheck it, uh, recheck his answer, and uh, it, it everything it's it's doing on the admin panel. I will I talk about later. Ah, okay. About audit uh, regarding uh, audit regarding HR. HR registers uh, an employee via application, and they, it has special password for doing this. And uh, just uh, employee couldn't do this. Uh, after that, uh, moreover, HR also have admin panel. How, how I said before. And um, uh, in this admin panel, provide provide all information about all employers, mm -hmm. and also uh, all employees confirmation. On he also uh, HR also could, for example, download different reports. Also could uh, uh, okay could also watch show a diverse chart of different like, indicators. Uh, okay, it's a uh, watch related to audit, uh, re reinforcement learning. Okay, uh, about reinforcement learning. Okay, we have, firstly we have a problem first time when we develop this application. We have a problem with the uh, face recognition because when an employer registers itself with a glass, for example, and uh, after that uh, the system couldn't recognize him without glass and. Uh, in this situation, uh, Azure help us with the uh, help us with the API. Uh, he uh, provides special API for reinforcement learning. And uh, after how the uh, employers take a photo, we send his photo uh, to Azure again, and again uh, became more smarter than he was before. 
and uh, and that's why and with this way we uh, resolve this uh, problem problem with reinforcement learning. Okay, so you turn this. Okay, uh, let me continue, please. Um, so uh, our next thing we want to discuss is about uh, uh, things to consider. Uh, uh, so, um, oh, sorry, I have a comment here. I will try to enlarge it. Uh, not sure if I can do full screen correctly. Uh, hope it will be better. Okay, so um, what uh, we understood from the project. So first thing is about like a uh, use case uh, when uh, this project uh, is suitable. So uh, as long as you have limitations, it's not uh, for our point of view, it's not um, kind of the best the way to use uh, as a part of security system, uh, but it's good enough for to be used as a time tracking system for certain conditions, like for tracking uh, uh, sales associates, waiters, and other people like this. Uh, another important part is the, about lighter condition. So as long as uh, we try to use budget uh, budget devices in order to make it uh, affordable enough, uh, they need uh, that. The photo should be lighted enough, and it, it's like about place where this tablet could be placed. Uh, thing, uh, third thing is about hardware. Uh, so we wanted to like stay within $200 uh, threshold for devices. And uh, for instance, we have like this kind of device uh, from Samsung. I'm sure that there are other devices from other vendors. This, this particular price category, um, we noticed that it requires a uh, new Android version uh, from uh, five or higher. And uh, um, for thinking, uh, speaking about the hardware requirements, so for, for uh, our perspective, uh, from our experience, uh, you should need like a tablet with at least two gigabytes of RAM and two cores. Uh, we tested uh, using uh, less powerful uh, tablets and it worked really bad. So, but as long as price is not very high now, I think it is more than possible to find a suitable device within $200 price tag. And uh, the fourth one uh, is about internet connection. So basically, it works best when you have stable internet, uh, which is not always the case. So we developed special offline mode when uh, employee checks in and uh, uh, system understands that, that there is no internet connection. And so system asks employees to manually enter their name. Uh, as long as system stores the photo, uh, afterwards, after the internet connection is available, uh, system performs audit by itself. And if there are any uh, doubts, I mean, like the probability is too low, uh, this uh, photo is sent to HRs, so can they manually uh, review the photo? Uh, so uh, let's talk about the cons and problems that we met uh, during the uh, implementation. So first, it takes time. Uh, so it takes two to three seconds uh, to uh, process uh, compared to like 20 milliseconds for RFID cards. So again, uh, like if you, you have a big enough company, please consider putting several tablets. Uh, second uh, uh, concern is about recognition rate, which is definitely below 100%. Um, so uh, there should always be a kind of backup plan. Uh, third, uh, uh, at our day at our state of art technology doesn't work for kids so it works only for adults so it is suitable for such use cases like uh, employee tracking but it might be not the best solution for tracking students fourth uh, it depends on light conditions definitely and um, uh, last but not least is privacy concern so we had a case when one of our employees just uh, didn't agree to 
register in the system. He said that like, I don't want to share my photo. Uh, it was okay for us because it, we do not use this project as a major uh, tool because of the, our nature of business. So it's not like a big deal. But for in other cases, for other type of businesses, like say, uh, again, grocery stores or restaurants, it might be a case. So uh, this moment should be written in their contracts, I don't know. And uh, just to be sure, and of course, we do not store, we don't, do not collect photos, we just store it for audit purposes and uh, other stuff like that. And uh, this should be told by employee that the photos wouldn't be published anyway. And finally, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, what we are thinking about the development from our point of view, and we'll be happy to get any comments uh, on uh, uh, such uh, topics um, uh, and other comments and uh, advices how to develop our system. So first, we are considering about onboard recognition. So our major uh, slowdown comes from the fact that we use uh, cloud solution for recognition. It works really nice. It has high recognition rates. It has low error rates, but it uh, is in the cloud and it takes time. So uh, with the onboard recognition, uh, we could achieve our second goal is uh, to increase our recognition speed. And um, um, the thick, uh, one other thing, which is especially important for uh, in, in our days uh, is about touchless UI. So uh, we're considering uh, adding other kits, uh, other ML kit functions to uh, be able to uh, like allow to uh, allow employees to confirm by like just by gestures and uh, make choices by voice. Uh, okay, uh, this is for now for our presentation and we have several questions. So let us uh, begin uh, with uh, with them. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So yeah, we, we, we kind of uh, like we as people, we as engineers, we're developing artificial intelligence in order to do our jobs, right? And now we are using it in order to control us doing our jobs. Yeah. Oh, like, Jamshid John uh, asks a few questions, like uh, why do you decide to use Google ML? Uh, well, as Nur Sam said, uh, we had uh, we considered two choices: um, OpenCV <laughs> and Google ML. And uh, okay, uh, why we uh, decided to use Google ML? It's a simple question because a simple answer because uh, Google ML is most simpler than. Uh, as a type of this libraries. For example, OpenCV is more harder and uh, we need to, for example, learn uh, OpenCV, how recognize, how face detect. It's the, it's uh, demand a lot of time. It's demand more time than we just uh, get, uh, we just download, download Google ML library and uh, just run it and it works well. It's everything which you need, it just download from repository, it's enough. And that's why we decided to uh, use Google ML. I think it's And enough. what are the requirements for cameras that you've been uh, requirements? using? Oh, yes, so, um, let me ask this question. Okay. Uh, so we use two megapixel webcam, and this is the device. Uh, I can show, it. it's Samsung and tablet, so, okay. I don't know if it's easy to see the number. It's SMT295. Budgetary tablet. It's, it's a budgetary tablet, yes. We just like bought, uh, we are we're looking for the most budget solution that would work. So it's um, uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab A, uh, which is below 200 bucks, below $200 price tech. And its model is uh, SM T two nine five. And uh, how how much data you need in order to start recognizing people like good enough? And 
how many peoples are we talking about? How many people are we talking about? Um, I said before, uh, this uh, service is uh, for face recognition. We use uh, Azure service, and the uh, Azure service service already is learned, and uh, it, all, everything is everything all, everything is needed. It's just one photo, and you see we you send one photo to this cloud, and after that cloud uh, already could recognize you. But uh, to in, for increase to increase uh, the recognized quality, you need you can uh, send a lot more photos than one. For example, if you send uh, five photos, it will be uh, good and uh, it will recognize you with one hundred percent accuracy. It's but one photo is enough because we uh, we use already uh, working service already learn service so and uh, uh, how does recognition happens when your the, the tablet is offline well it just doesn't happen actually for short question he said yeah. so basically what happens uh, we store the photo so like someone comes to office and uh, makes a photo saying like I'm checked in um, uh, and uh, tablet understands that there is no Internet connection, so tablet ask asks uh, this person to enter uh, his or her name manually, manually. Uh, and uh, it just stores the event as uh, not confirmed. Uh, at the moment, uh, the internet connection is stable. Uh, the system sends uh, the photo to Azure, and uh, uh, Azure uh, gives the probability if this person is that one uh, is who is he saying he is, uh, and uh, that is how it works. To, to cut long uh, story short, oh, sorry, to cut long story short, we just uh, if your internet connection doesn't exist, it's not allowed. We just uh, save uh, the employer's photo uh, on the local storage, and after that, how internet connection appear, we just send this photo. Uh, to the cloud. To the cloud, yes. And after that, we get response. And uh, after that, uh, HR could consider could uh, yes, it, yes consider this result and compare photo and uh, employer. And use case allows it, right? Because you don't need to provide instant access to the person by face recognition. You just need it like weeks after it happens, just to come combine statistics and understand the working hours for the person. Yeah, exactly. And, and also, why wouldn't you use like ordinary IP cameras and a computer with GPU as well? Uh, well, um, with ordinary cameras, IP cameras uh, is just our design. We wanted to make it kind of user friendly. And uh, the good thing with the tablet is that they don't not, not only have the uh, camera, but also they have a screen. Uh, so a person can see themselves, I can confirm the choice, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of a little bit easier. Also, um, the thing is that uh, with the tablet, uh, we can get a good photo of the person when the person looks at the camera. Uh, like if it could be just an ordinary IP camera, there is a risk that the person would just like turn around or I don't know, wear a mask as it happens in our days. So that's why we decided to use tablet uh, to make a very specific photo with the face. Uh, and, mm -hmm. uh, with the GPU, it's also an interesting question. Uh, so basically, uh, we thought it would be what we're doing right now. It's a MVP. MVP and uh, uh, meanwhile, Azure gives us very, very uh, good service with a very low price tag. I think we use it almost a year and we didn't pay anything. So. Uh, uh, we don't want to invest money nor in uh, not in GPU nor in uh, development of the software or even adapting the existing software. So it's just like cheaper and faster to use cloud solution. Mm -hmm. So there might be a little bit misconception with these questions. Uh, as far as I understand, this is not your startup. It's more like a side project to to provide more convenience to the office, right? 
Well, so, uh, it? kind of, it's kind of startup, I would say. So basically, if you talk about our situation, uh, we are a very well-known company in a retail market with our project with Casa. And uh, so we decided to add like extra products for our existing customers. And um, uh, so we started to doing it like for our own, just to see if it works. And uh, if it works nice, we have a uh, client base, existing client base that might buy it. So I think it's startup. It's kind of like an, like an addition to existing project. Yeah, for us, it's kind of a mm -hmm. sale. So we have a good relations with um, a lot of retail industry, with the horeca industry. But why not, why not just to sell it more? Sell them more. So. Uh, OK, so and, uh, the, the concerns about privacy and about the laws as well. I mean, uh, here in Kazakhstan, we have a certain regulations that don't allow us to use uh, biometric data without um, expressive concern, uh, expressive uh, agreement from the biometric data owner being a person like anywhere on the street, which is why you had to use the contracts. And now you're saying that uh, the images are being sent to the cloud, which means they are uh, also transferred into the probably other countries uh, uh like legal area so to speak and in euro in europe we have uh, gdpr in process in progress that is uh specifically describes how to use and how not to use personal data uh, did you face anything about that uh yep uh so first um uh yeah so there are certain limitations about privacy and concerns about the privacy so we cannot just share people's faces and even people's photos uh, in the internet, even if we have it. So uh, we have two things. First is our use case. Uh, it's not like for tracking clients. It's for tracking only employees, uh, which have a kind of contract uh, with the employer. And that's why uh, this thing uh, about uh, expressive uh, agreement to use biometric data for time uh, management uh, can be written in the contract. It's not a big deal because we just don't do it with the clients. And second, yes, we have faced the problem when one of our employees uh, said that he is not going to make the photo of himself. Uh, as long as the, it was not a big deal for us, we are a software development company, so we don't really care, in fact, if someone is a little bit late. But um, so we just agreed. It's okay, if you don't want, can, you don't have to. Uh, but uh, of course, in some cases, uh, some people might disagree to use it. Uh, and it depends on the nature of business, what will they do. Uh, from our point of view, like seeing our number of employees, we have 200 employees and the one denied. And uh, we're not like, uh, uh, I mean, like our employees are a little bit different from um, Restaurant from waiters or sales associates, they know much more about what, uh, how face is important, face image is important. And even in this condition, you have only 1.5% rejection rate. So we think in our particular use case, uh, in our country in Kazakhstan, it's not a big deal. It might be, of course, it might be a problem in Europe, but right now we're not. Uh, aiming, targeting a uh, Europe market. But um, again, if our solution will be success, we can just replace some technologies and uh, store this information in our servers. It's not a problem. So. Uh, which is also why uh, you mentioned that you could not use it for kids and students, right? Not only because uh, there are different algorithms for uh, kids' facial features, but also because kids' biometrics data is uh, like uh, a really movie. big concern for, from a legal point of view. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Well, uh, if there are no other questions, then thank you very much. Uh, uh, th thank you very much. Uh, it, it was. It's always interesting to see how uh, 
things like face recognition are being implemented in a certain use cases because there was a lot of hype around face recognition, but not too much of implementation apart from, well, well-known implementation apart from maybe China, who is face recognizing like everyone and everywhere if they can. And um, good luck to you. Thank you for your participation and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you too. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye.